So in our last tutorial we created custom reward giver so we can give a reward to our player um, and we set some progress on a quest so we can actually complete the quest. But there's actually different ways in how we can set progress on a quest. For example, maybe we want to create a, an, an area that the player can discover. So let's say I create a sphere and I make this sphere here, remove the mesh renderer so it's no longer visible and I make a trigger out of it. So let's say we want to um, set progress on a quest when the user walks into this trigger. So we can actually do that um, with a quest progress trigger. Um, and we can select the quest. So let's grab this quest for now. Um, and let's create a new task on it. So we grab the quest, go to tasks, create a new task, and call this main2. And we'll call this... And we want to discover it once, we want to auto-complete it, and well, we can set a time limit. Okay. So now we can just say main2 here, add the progress, and we can even add an audio clip if we'd like to. Okay. Um, let's give this one a tag so we can actually find it back. Let's call this quest trigger. Now obviously we don't have a player yet, so we'll have to create one first. Um, and we can do this in, in a couple of ways. In the end, all we really want to do is create a game object. And I'll just make a capsule which represents our player. And on our player we want to add the quest system player. And this is the component that defines our player. And once this object enters any quest trigger, the progress will be set. So we can actually try that out. If I start the quest, I accept it. You can see here that we haven't discovered the location just yet. And once I move the player object into the trigger, you can see we've just discovered this location. Um, of course, you can use any type of um, controller for the for the player you'd like, so you can use the third-person controller, or in-vector, or whichever you'd like. Uh, all will work just fine. And that's it for this short tutorial. Um, in the next one we'll actually go over the dialogue editor and how we can use dialogues, quests, and so forth.